First at five, though, CBS 46 advocating for homeowners dealing with water damage. The rain that inundated Metro Atlanta is finally moving out. But for some, the damage is already done. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Sean Gables. I'm Alicia Roberts in for Sharon. Yeah, that's right. From flooded basements to really damaged roofs. The big question is what will your insurance cover if you've been impacted? CBS 46's Ayanna Crystal pushing for answers today. She joins us now live with advice from the experts. Ayanna. Alicia, homeowners are just thankful that it has stopped raining. Now, the best advice for people is to have a conversation with your agent so you understand your policy and know what is covered. Right now, we are in a high flood zone in Atlanta. This is Peachtree Creek. So when there's heavy rain, this area is prone to flood. But an insurance expert tells me that you don't have to live in a high flood zone for your home to get flooded. It wasn't exactly the way some people wanted to start the new year. So we came down here and we found about three or four inches of water just covering the basement. Kelly Lungberg and others who live in Dunwoody dealt with flooding last week. The water was probably about up, up past this first step. We've painted all the floors and the walls and had put some rugs down for them to play. Um, and it was soaked. Everything was kind of floating off the ground. The thing that most people don't understand is every home is in a flood zone. Maria McCool, an insurance expert with Signature FD, says water seeping into your home from the rain would not be covered through FEMA's flood damage. Homeowners insurance 99% of the time is not going to provide you any coverage for flood. McCool says it's imperative to have a conversation with your agent about your policy and don't wait until an issue gets worse. With you, They do not get better with time. So whatever you need to do if you're taking on water to minimize that loss at this time is very, very important because it will only become more expensive. So if that means pulling out drywall, um, getting fans in to dry out that area so that mold does not ensue as a result of it, those are steps that you should, you know, should take. Homeownership is costly, so it's important to understand your policy so you can plan ahead. Definitely not like right after Christmas, something that you want to have to spend money on for sure. Definitely not. So homeowners, listen up. Now is a good time to waterproof your home if you got any water in with all the rain. Some advice from an insurance agent is to have an emergency fund. That's with three to six months worth of savings for situations if your HUD does foam. flood. Rather. We're live in Atlanta, Ayanna Crystal, CBS 46 News.